In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 discoveries I've recently made on Etsy of various different functional and fun accessories for knitters. So if that sounds like something, right down your alley, get cozy and let's dive in. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Wool Needles Hands Midweek Ramble. My name is Taylor and I will be your host. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 Etsy finds for knitters or fiber enthusiasts alike that I think you're going to love. I love to have a little browse of Etsy, sometimes in the morning when I'm having my cup of coffee to see what kinds of fun notions and gadgets and tools small business makers are making for other makers. And today I wanna to share with you some of those finds. Everything that I mentioned here will be linked down below in the description box or if you follow the QR code on your screen now that will take you to the show links page for today's video over at woolneedleshands.com and as many of you know many of the video topics for midweek rambles are supplied by you the viewer over at the wool needles hands tip line if you have a suggestion for a future midweek ramble that you would like me to cover head over to the wool needles hands website go to the tip line and drop me your suggestion while you're over there don't forget to check out the merch shop where we have lots of fun conversation starters like the hello 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 collection as well as many others i definitely encourage you to check out the new collection inspired by the last midweek ramble it is called the one needle collection if you are a chiaogu user or a lord of the rings fan i think you will appreciate this but definitely head over to woolneedleshands.com and explore over there but without further ado let's go ahead and dive right in like most of these videos i'm going to be sharing my screen with you so that you can see what i see and we can window shop together now, the first thing I want to share with you here is something that I always feel is a really good thing to have if you are a knitter, a maker, a crafter in general, even if it means that you have duplicates of your other notions and tools that you keep in your main notions bag. And that is to have a knitting toolkit or a travel knitting toolkit. Now, all of these I'm going to refer to as knitting related items. That's the overarching theme of this video. However, if you are a crocheter, welcome. It's so good to have you all here here, these absolutely apply for you as well. It is referred to as the ultimate knitting toolkit over at La Jasmina Makes on Etsy. And I think that it has just the right amount of items and just the right items in general to have in a quick grab and go toolkit so that you can leave your main knitting notions bag or box behind. If you're going on a quick trip, if you're going to a soccer game, you're gonna be waiting in a doctor's office. It's just good to have those essential items with you in a small format like this that you can just throw in a bag and be gone. And that is exactly what this is. So looking at this, it has a really nice felted case. Looks like it's about the size of a glasses case. You get the little small tin that has the sliding lid for a variety of different stitch markers, a nice wooden ruler, a notebook. And what I love about this notebook is that it actually has grid paper, a nice small size pencil that fits in the case. You have the bonsai scissors, which I absolutely love. Those are my go-to scissors for crafting in general. They're called bonsai scissors. And then it gives you that really nice glass vial with the cork lid for the tapestry needles that you're definitely going to need. There looks to be some cable needles in there. It's just a really awesome set of items that you're definitely going to need at some point, and it's nice to know that you have them. So this is the Ultimate Knitting Toolkit. It comes in at $40, and it is available at La Jasmina Makes which is a small shop um, based in San Francisco, California. And her shop has lots of really fun items and it's definitely worth um, checking out her shop. But that is going to be number 10 on my new Etsy discoveries for knitters. Okay, this next one I just think is a lot of fun. Now, I'm really big into having various different jars of pencils, needles, I have paint brushes over here. And what I love about this next one is it's a cute way to kind of come up with one of those jar storage solutions while also repping your craft. And these are knitting needle pens. So you can see here that they've taken um, old knitting needles and they've repurposed them into ballpoint pens. And I think it's the cutest thing to have like a really cute cup or whatever you would put pens in sitting on your work table or on your desk full of knitting needle pens like this. But what a fun way to repurpose all of those old aluminum knitting needles that wind up in thrift stores or wind up in various different places that tend to be oddball and are missing their match. It's just really cool and very colorful. I just I love a good repurpose. 
I just think it's very ingenious. I love a good DIY as well, but this is a lot of fun. So this is Burr Oak Studio. This is a small shop based out of Danville, Indiana. They have lots of different listings here where they have repurposed old knitting needles that I think are just really fun. There's a wind chime. Ah, oh, how cool is that? And then these really cool bracelets. Yeah, I don't know. I love that. So the pens really strike my fancy. I'd love to get a collection of those and have them sitting in a really cute jar on my table. So that is Burr Oak Studio. And those are the knitting needle pens. Okay, on last week's midweek ramble, we talked a lot about circular knitting needles. I shared with you some of my favorites and I also shared with you my... Um, circular knitting needle storage solution. Now it's not really a solution, it's just an option and it's not the greatest option. It works for me right now, but I definitely would like something better. There is something on the market called the circular solution. And I'm gonna share this with you here because I think it's a great option for storing your circular knitting needles. However, it's not an Etsy find, it's an Amazon find, but I think it's a valid one and I think it's one you should definitely check out. It's a hanging circular needle storage solution with numbers and sizes for all of your needles. You definitely need to check it out. It's on Amazon, I will link to it down below. I have my eyes on that one. However, I love to support small businesses and makers and I love to have things that I know were handmade and I have some options here on Etsy that I think you might love. This one comes from the um, shop Buttermilk Cottage. It is hang uh, it's called Hanging Knitting Needle Organizer for Circulars and this is in a rust paisley fabric. It kind of reminds me of a carpet bag fabric and I love it. So you can see it here. You can see that it has all these different sections for hanging your circular knitting needles. It has a pocket on the backside for that awesome needle gauge that I love. That's the Susan Boy one. And I love that it fits that one perfectly. And then it has a place to hang it on like a hook or a doorknob or wherever you want to put it. I, I don't think a doorknob is the best option for this because it would be too low to the ground but it gives it a place to hang. The only thing that this does not have that the circular solution does have are um, sizes listed, but that is intentional. They leave that there so that you can place the sizing, um, whether it's millimeters or numbers, you can kind of do that on your own. And that white fabric that you see there is um, suitable for like ironing on numbers or sewing or embroidering your numbers on. It kind of gives you that you know creative space. I love these. I think they look beautifully made. I love that there's various different sizes of each of the different pockets there. It has plenty of space for a very generous circular knitting needle collection. I just really love this. And if you tend to be a fixed circular user like myself, um, meaning that you don't rely on an interchangeable set of needles, you kind of just like to buy fixed circulars, this is really ideal for you. And this is really ideal for me as well. So my eyes are on something like this to purchase. I'm in the market, but I wanted to share that with you. It comes from Buttermilk Cottage and it looks like if you go to her shop, she has lots of different options for needle storage and lots of different fabric styles that you'll probably love. Okay, this next one is just kind of a fun way to add a little bit of heirloom essence to your knits. Now, I am a big cardigan wearer. You may have noticed if you're a regular viewer of the podcast, I love a good cardigan. I have never knit my ideal cardigan and it is in my radar to knit. I'm looking for the perfect pattern. I really need to knit myself my own classic cardigan. But if I'm going to do that, I want to make sure that I have the right buttons because buttons can make or break a cardigan in my opinion. And I love really high quality buttons on a nice cardigan. But if I'm going to knit myself a really nice cardigan with a really beautiful yarn, I want those buttons to stand out a little bit and lend it a little bit of that heirloom edge, I guess you could say. I found the most adorable ceramic buttons on Etsy, you guys. These are by Stockwell Ceramics based out of the UK. And you guys, I absolutely love these. So this is a set of eight large, one inch vintage look, handmade washable ceramic bird buttons. You guys look at the birds on these buttons. How adorable are these buttons, but also at the same time, like, oh my gosh, I'm just getting lost in the possibilities here. Look at the, okay, how beautiful are these buttons? Oh my gosh, look at those ones. Eight 
They're just over an inch. I feel like one inch, what is like an inch? That's like an inch. Oh, and they have that like oblong. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my gosh, I think I've just gone to like button Shangri-La. Yeah, all of these are absolutely beautiful. I definitely encourage you to check out this shop. I hope I favorited this shop. Yeah, follow this shop. How cool would a classic you know, knit black cardigan or even a navy cardigan. I'm thinking neutral here, but some kind of like classic color that goes with everything, but with really cool buttons like this to kind of give it that little extra visual interest. Keeping it a classic piece you can wear with everything, but providing that little bit of spice, something handmade like this, something very just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. There's a word that I'm looking for. It's not artisanal. I don't know what it is, but I, I know you know what I'm talking about. It's just that thing that may, I think heirloom is honestly the best way to put it. It's something that's going to make it extra special. And I love this. This is Stockwell Ceramics UK. So they are based out of the UK. If you are in the UK, like I know so many of you are, that's fantastic. Shipping will be reasonable. If you're in the US, shipping might be a little bit more pricey. Let's go ahead and check that out and see what the shipping would be for something like this. I'm going to go ahead and just add it to my cart. Don't mind if I do. Shipping calculated at checkout. Okay, let's just go to checkout just to check the shipping price. Okay. Review your order. I'm just going to review my order. Okay, so $12.38 to have eight large buttons shipped to me from the UK that are handmade ceramic heritage design bird buttons. I really, to me, I'm okay with that. Now that might be more than some people are willing to spend and I respect that. I'm not gonna do it now. That would be frivolous. Check out those buttons, Stockwell Ceramics UK. A great way to add that little bit of like heirloom essence to your cardigan or your knits in general. Okay, so I don't know if it's my age, I'm 39, but I do know that when it comes to getting, uh, calculating gauge and using a gauge ruler with certain fabrics and trying to see those little stitches and keeping count of the stitches as you move across, it's kind of becoming a little bit more difficult for me. And I, I don't think it's age necessarily. I think it's just that I choose low light. I'm not using, Maybe it's age, but I need a way to make it easier to see the stitches and keep track of all those little stitches when I'm counting, you know, gauge, or I just need to get a quick idea of where my gauge is at. And I love this option. This is called the easy peasy gauge ruler, and it's made of what looks to me glass. It says the last gauge ruler you'll ever need. Easy peasy gauge magnifies your stitches at two times magnification so they're easier to see. Marked every one inch on the top and every half inch on the bottom for a four inch section. You'll easily be able to keep your place as you count your stitches. It's like this person is reading my mind. That's exactly what I need. It's called the easy peasy gauge ruler. I suggest you have one if you find that you're knitting with a fabric or it's just kind of hard to keep track of stitches if you're knitting with a really fine yarn. It's a good option. It's just something good to have in your toolkit, just in case. The one I'm looking at here is listed in the Handsome Fibers Etsy shop, but I think there might be other shops on Etsy that are selling that same item. I'm not sure, but I'm going to link to the one that I found here from Handsome Fibers. So often when I'm knitting a top-down sweater, I find myself needing to try the sweater on for fit, but the needle that I'm using is just not wide enough to stretch over my head without risking pulling the stitches off of the needle. And so it's nice to have a way to quickly transfer those stitches on to some kind of a cord without having to go through the whole process of getting another set of needles and transferring all of them on and, and whatever. It's nice to have just a quick solution for that so that you can give yourself a little bit more space to try on whatever it is that you're working on top down. Enter the try it on tubing for knitters. Again, we don't have a lot of pictures here to show you exactly what this is, but essentially what it looks like to me is fish tank tubing. So if you've ever had fish and you have that like little bubble tube that goes through the fish tank, it kind of looks like that tubing. Um, maybe just a little bit more narrow, but the intention of this or the, the purpose of this is to take the tips of your needles that you have on your knitting and to slip the tubing over the tip of your needle so that you can more easily spread your stitches out across a larger circumference, you know, space to throw it on over your head without worrying about it you know, little stitches falling off the tips of your needles, if that makes any sense. So instead of transferring all of your stitches onto another needle or transferring half of your stitches onto another needle so that you have more space, you can just pop the tubes 
right over the tips of your needles. And then it gives you this additional space to just kind of open your knitting up and try it on really quick. And then when you're done, you pull the tubes off of the tips of your needles and you go about your business. It's just a real quick solution. So the small tube fits sizes US 2 to US 8 and the large tube fits sizes US 8 to US 13. And I love supporting small businesses and I would absolutely purchase this from this particular shop. But I have to think that if you were in a pinch and you just needed to find something to serve the same purpose, I have a feeling you could get this at like a fish tank supply store because I think that's what that is. I don't know. I don't know. I think this is a fantastic option. It's nice to have a really quick solution for trying on your sweaters as you go. Okay, I really love this next one. This is an option that I think all of us should have in our toolkit for when we are knitting with multiple strands of yarn together, holding them all together, whether we're marling or whether we're holding mohair with a base yarn or whether you're holding a couple strands of platalope together. It's nice to have kind of a way to organize those strands as they leave your project bag and come into your hands to go into your work. And this is called the Knitting and Crochet Yarn Tender by Artifact Bags. Now the Artifact Bags shop on Etsy has really fantastic project bags in general, so I definitely suggest checking them out. However, this particular little accessory is just ingenious. It snaps on to the handle of a project bag and it has little grommeted holes and it looks like this one has five options for um, places where you can thread your yarn through. So it keeps your yarn organized. So even if the balls of yarn are kind of moving around in your project bag, the yarn that's coming into your hands and going into your work stays organized. So it's called the Knitting and Crochet Yarn Tender. It's $14. It looks like it's made from leather. Yeah, it's made from leather. It ships worldwide from Omaha, Nebraska. And I think it's just really ingenious. It could fit on any project bag, but I definitely encourage you to check out Artifact Bags in general. They have a lovely selection of leather goods, of waxed canvas, but I just really love this small little accessory that would be helpful if you tend to be a knitter who uses more than one strand of yarn. Okay, this next one is one that I've shared. I've shared something similar on the podcast in the past. In fact, in the video where I shared with you my notions bag, I shared something very similar and that's this right here. So this is my knitting notions roll up bag. I purchased this on Amazon and it is a hanging jewelry organizer. So this is it here. It has clear poly or plastic. Um, yeah, it's not poly, it's plastic, clear plastic um, compartments with zippers here. Each compartment is stitched. So it's separated there. And then it has this leather kind of little attachment here where the hanger is. And then this pocket up here is a full size pocket, but it's just a jewelry, hanging jewelry organizer, but I love using it for my notions. And when I shared it with you in that video, which I'll link that video down below if you wanna watch that, hear me talk all about this. I shared it with you as an Amazon link because I purchased that one on Amazon and you can still get this one on Amazon and I recommend it if you prefer this one. The price is great. However, it sells out pretty frequently on Amazon. So check the listing, see if it's available. I definitely recommend that. But someone suggested or um, sent me a link for one on Etsy that is very much the same. This one is the personalized jewelry organizer. It's a medium sized roll up, very similar to the one over there. Um, however, the price is a little bit more than the one that I purchased on Amazon. This one clocks in at $37.80 right now. Um, it's on sale. It's from My Charm Workshop. And it looks like that's what they sell are, you know, jewelry cases. But this is fantastic. If you need a place to store your notions, you want it to have nice see-through pockets so that you can see what's inside. It rolls up. It's easy to throw in a bag or to store. I personally love a roll-up style storage solution for my notions, and this is a really great option. So I wanted to include it here because I hadn't mentioned this on that video several months ago about this bag because I hadn't discovered it until somebody sent this to me. So that's what this is. It's a personalized jewelry organizer, fantastic for storing your knitting notions or your crochet notions or what have you. And it comes in a variety of colors, it looks like. It looks like it's really well made and you can have it personalized. Yeah, that's really nice. So that is an option if you need a nice place to store your notions. All right, this next one is more kind of wall decor, but I really love it. And I need to get more um, kind of wall decor in my office in here that reflects 
you know, my hobby of knitting and all of that. I have a few pieces. I have, um, let me go this way. I have this one right here that my husband got me one year for my birthday. I love this. I'll pop a picture up so you can see what it looks like, but I love this, but I'd like to get some more in here that just kind of reflect that craft. And this one I absolutely love. So it is knitting keeps me from unraveling poster, but look at the illustration here. I've talked to you guys recently about my interest in um, gouache painting. I shared some recent, you know, works that I've done. I love that high contrast style of painting, kind of like what you're seeing here. This is just very much like my style in terms of artwork for hanging on the walls. And I love that really bold typeface. It, and just the imagery is really, really very cool. And knitting keeps me from unraveling is a fantastic sentiment because it's so true. <laughs> So I love this. This comes from New Horizon Vintage Art. Um, this is a shop that's based out of France. Shipping might be a little pricey on these, but the artwork that they have in their shop is really beautiful. So if you're into that style of artwork, vintage style infographics, really awesome illustrations. This one's really cool. Books make me feel alive. I need that one too. I love it. But I really love Knitting Keeps Me From Unraveling. I think that that would be a great one to have on the wall in my office, which you might actually say, I'm, I'm kind of imagining. So, uh, this, so this right here is some artwork for my son and I don't want to replace that. It's one of his, it's a finger painting he did a while ago. These two that you see back here behind this light, um, I don't know, maybe I could replace one of those. So anyway, I'm, I'm always on the lookout for some fun knitting inspired wall decor. Um, and I love that one. So definitely check that one out because I think you might love it as well. Okay, last but not least is one of the cutest things I found on Etsy for knitters or crocheters or yarn enthusiasts. Adorable, I can't even tell you. I love making pom-poms. I love the idea of just pom-poms everywhere. I'm not a big fan of wearing them on hats, but I just love making pom-poms and finding reasons to have pom-poms. These pom-pom makers that I'm about to share with you are so cute. Just wait for it as I find them. This is called the, and, and I'm gonna show you one variety of Pom Pom Maker here from this particular um, shop called Pom Maker. They are based out of, I wanna say, yeah, Valencia, California. But all of the Pom Pom Makers that they have in this shop are so adorable. Okay, so this one is called the Macaron Pom Maker. And you guys, just look. How adorable is this Pom Pom Maker? Look at this. It's so cute. The pom-pom maker is $17.50. Yes, that is a lot to pay for a pom-pom maker. However, I think it's a really cool pom-pom maker. It's a conversation starter. You could get a few of those and leave them in a jar, which is a lot of money for something like that. But still, high quality. It's made from beech wood. I think it is so cute. So if you're into kind of splurging on little things like that, if it's something that you can justify doing. There's not enough space in here for the massage chair anyway. I mean, go for it because that is so fun. Yeah, I definitely had to share those with you. I discovered them. I think they're so cute. So if you're into making pom-poms and if you make enough pom-poms to justify having really nice luxe, luxury, hand-painted beechwood pom-pom makers, then there you go. You're welcome. That is going to cap off my list of recent finds on Etsy for knitters, crocheters, yarn enthusiasts alike. I love, like I said, browsing Etsy, seeing what kinds of fun things makers are making for makers. I definitely encourage you to check that out as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to share some window shopping with me today. It means so much for me that you are here. If you took value or enjoyed yourself at all during any point of this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and click the bell icon so you can be notified anytime I upload anything new on the channel, which is every Wednesday and every Sunday. And don't forget to head over to woolneedleshands.com. You can drop me a suggestion in the tip line, shop the merch so you can support and rep your favorite knitting podcast. And I will see you on Sunday's episode of the podcast. Until then, happy making, happy knitting, happy whatever it is that you're doing. Take care, be well, and I will see you soon. Bye. They have ones that look like little donuts. Oh my gosh, look at these ones with the flowers. This one with the blue bird on it or the blue jay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, they're expensive. They're hand painted.